This is the kind of dress you got to twirl in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, have you ever heard the saying, always a bridesmaid, never a bride? Well, here's the real issue with that. You end up with a bunch of dresses you only wear once. So here to show you how and why you should be dusting them off and making them modern and new again is Julia Green. I love that we're talking about this. Of course, we would bring you in to talk about this. And... I'd love to know where you found these bridesmaid dresses. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this, Tracy. It was not hard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Besides your wedding dress, the number one dress that you only wear once mm -hmm. is a bridesmaid's dress. It's true. No matter how much that bride tells you, oh, you'll wear it again. Oh, no, you won't. You won't. No, you won't. So many different reasons why, right? Yeah. It's too formal. You actually never liked it in the first place. Yeah. Right? Rule number one, when you say yes to a bridesmaid, you say yes to the dress. You do. You whatever say yes she, to whatever the bride, bride wants. Exactly. But just to put this into perspective, okay? Yeah. In Canada alone, there are over 140,000 weddings every year. Lovely. Lovely, right? Mm -hmm. And every bride would have what? Four bridesmaids? That's conservative. About. Conservative, yeah, right? It is. So that's over 600,000 dresses a year that are worn once. Just sitting in a closet or maybe sitting in a, a landfill, which exactly. is even worse. Exactly. Actually, yeah. if you Google number one thing to do with bridesmaids dresses, uh -huh. Halloween costumes. Oh, Nobody yeah. can think of anything else to do with them. I guess not. So that's right? where you come that's in. That's where I come in. Yeah. So you know what? I put it out on my social to see if anybody wanted me to redesign a bridesmaid's dress. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Tracy, I could do this all day long. That got so much feedback and it was amazing. But before we start, I just yeah. got to give a little shout out okay. to my assistant on this job because you know I don't know how to sew. I know. But I'm really good at finding <laughs> it people. It makes me like you more. I know, but I can find people that sew. <laughs> yeah. Including little Kira. This is awesome. She is a grade nine student oh, who wow. is in love with upcycling and redesigning and she reached out to me and I said yes she can help me out so I say Kira thank you very much she has a little blog silver fashionista I have to say I'm I'm so impressed with you also employing young women in your sustainable business like that's lovely that's oh, well, lovely so that you're great. doing especially that. at that age to be yeah. to be aware of it it's awesome and she's very extremely good. talented so yeah so you get this onslaught of bridesmaids yes. dresses and people are like for my for my issue i would say it's either the length or it is the color that i was is, never into the color that is the number one i tortured my bridesmaids so i understand <laughs> okay so let's see the first one let's see the before pick that you got submitted in uh okay. by a viewer okay Right? Beautiful bridesmaids yeah. dress. Yeah. This is Garbo. Very nice. You know, a nice winter wedding. They had yeah. them styled with little furs over the shoulder. Ooh. Really nice color. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was just too conservative for Garbo. Yes. This is who wanted a new vamp on the dress. So, this is the after. And you have done such an incredible job with this dress for so many different reasons. Talk to me about how you reconstructed it. Okay, so the number one thing, if you're going to start to, like, chop up these dresses... Yeah. Take a look at some of the original design details because these dresses are beautifully made. No one's saying that, right? A bridesmaid's right. dress is fantastic quality. Well, they're so, expensive, so they better be. <laughs> they better be, right? <laughs> so what I loved about this dress of Garbo was that oh, strap over the shoulder here. Yes. Really, really beautiful and gorgeous fabric, and she adored the color. So yeah. I really played with that purple. So we just cut off right at the top there to create almost like a little bra top yeah. and then created a skirt from the leftover fabric. Really focusing on that purple and then styled it with a great blazer, a little winner's score that I picked up, pulling that purple through, and just giving this now, sitting in a closet bridesmaid's dress, yeah. a new purpose. This is hot, and how serendipitous that you had this beautiful top with the one shoulder. Already there. That is there. totally happening it's right now. The cutout, the midriff, totally happening right now, so you can make it work with whatever you've got. Exactly. Very exactly. good. Well, if you have someone talented like Julia helping you. <laughs> So let's see the next one, okay? Let's see the before pick of the next dress. Take a look at it. Talk to us about this dress. Okay, Jules. this is a beautiful, this is a very typical, beautiful, beautiful bridesmaid's dress. This yes. was Chantal. She was a bridesmaid not too long ago, a little bit of one of those COVID covert operation weddings, yes. right? And yes. she absolutely adored the dress. The problem was it was too formal. You can right. see the boning in the top of the dress. Yeah. It really feels like a formal dress. Right. And Chantal wanted something more casual to wear. So Take she adored. 
sweater. Oh, the skirt. Yes. So I made it a skirt. That is such a smart idea. Right? And it's so lovely. I like the fact that it's like mid-rise, but it's got the beautiful slit. Walk us through it. Okay, so what's beautiful about the actual skirt is that chiffon fabric. Phenomenal. Yeah. The original slit was already in the dress, so I didn't have to create anything like that. Nice. We literally cut off the top, saved a bit of that fabric to create the waistband with the ties. Oh. And then the real trick here, Tracy, is how you pair it and style it. Yeah. So I've styled it with a linen top, beautiful, mm. which is from Lemonwood, which is a fantastic Canadian woman-run retailer, wholesaler, specializing in cashmere and and linen. Lovely. And when you pair it with that linen, we've now got almost that boho chic feel. Yeah. Paired it with a nice basket purse, a, a hat. Now it's something that Chantel can wear every day. Running yeah. shoes, flip flops. It no longer has that formal feel at all. It really grounds it. And I can see this with a vintage tee that you oh, thrift yes. and having some fun with that. You have yes. fun and flirty at the bottom and yes. a little edgy at the top. I think it's great. Yeah. Nice super, work. Super easy. Okay, let's see the before pick for the the next dress uh, that you had to deal with. And talk to me a little bit about this dress. I love this dress so much. I love the whole story. This is Sam. Yeah. Sam absolutely loves the dress. Well, she didn't really actually love the dress. Take that back. <laughs> As all bridesmaids, Sam we have to say like yes. The dress. She loved the day. She loved her friend. She loved being totally a part friend. of that. Does not want to get rid of this dress at all, yeah. even though it doesn't fit anymore. Right. But she wants to wear it and have that wonderful feeling with being with her friend and that. So yeah. I said, you know what? Let's just make it a top. Simple, simple. Yes. Little bit of fabric. Really wearable and here's one thing okay you don't need a PhD in sewing to tell you that when you see a zipper in a dress all you have to do is cut the zipper oh. just cut it along it okay. will cut don't have to remove it put a safety pin below it yeah. so when you zip now it won't the, like the latch won't come right oh, off okay got it but people see zippers is like oh my god I can't do anything about this that you would can't. be me yeah, I would no. say well we're stuck there's no, a zipper just cut it just cut it so we just literally cut this top cut it okay. into a top paired it with denim so you've got that beautiful detail of the dress that's still there yeah that color that we may not love to death but mm. now it's not as much of it right <laughs> just yeah. a little bit of it paired it with a great blazer um, it's just it just gives that sort of modern feel to it for yeah. sure love it I love the fact that yeah you did some color blocking yes. and you and you did the beautiful yes. uh, you know wide leg high waisted denim and you are good for right? 2022. There you go. So good as always, Jules. So smart.